Most players don't realize the power of scaling in League of Legends. So which champions can actually carry and become unbeatable in the late phase of the game? What's up guys? Welcome to another video. If you're new here, we love dropping great tips, top 10s, and highlights on our channel. We're quickly growing and we appreciate all of our subscribers. If you're not already subscribed and you like the content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications by clicking or tapping that bell. Make sure to give this video a like and share it with friends. I'm Sam for Top Viral Gaming, and now let's get into the video. Our top 10 champions will help you to start immediately winning games when you realize the power of their scaling damage. If you've lost a lot of games even after winning your lane and taking some objectives, then you're probably missing these late game champions. Number 10, Kale. The queen of the late game is a nickname known well among players, as Kale is one of the most powerful champions in League. You've probably heard the phrase, don't FF team, let's just wait for Kale to get level 16. And yes, those words are very true, because once you reach level 16 with this champion, you basically become unstoppable, and there's no champion that can 1v1 against you and come out on top. Kale is also so useful in fights as she does AoE damage, and has a good sustain with her W and her ultimate. She has a good utility, and she can move so fast towards champions, which allows her to poke and kite pretty well. Number 9, Nasus. If you quickly analyze him, you'll realize that Nasus is automatically categorized as a late game champion because of his stacking Q ability. This ability gives him permanently 3 stacks for killing his target, but stacks are increased to 12 if the target is a large minion, large monster, champion, or turret. You may have experienced the damage of Nasus yourself, having up to 700 stacks in one game. If you haven't, try playing a few games and witness his damage power with your own eyes. Play as Nasus and you'll be unstoppable if you have the right itemization and if you're focusing on the right target. Number 8, Karthus. Yeah, you might say Karthus is a squishy target and easy to kill in the early game, which is true, but he's got snowballing potential which is so powerful that if he gets one or more kills earlier in the game, then just hope he won't press his R if you're a squishy champion, because that'll be enough to wipe you out. That's why most players in high elo ban Karthus, because all he has to do is just farm his jungle camps and when needed to use his ultimate, which makes all lanes suddenly lose their HP. This will cause damage to all enemy champions without exception. Try playing Karthus. You don't even have to know much about jungle. You can basically gank lanes by just pressing your ultimate. You won't regret it. Number 7, Master Yi. This champion is known among lower ranks because he doesn't require a lot of skill to main. We covered Master Yi in our top 10 champions for beginners video. Click the card on the screen to check that out. Master Yi is one of the easiest champions to master in League of Legends, thanks to his simple skill abilities, but these don't make him any less lethal. Survive in the early phase of the game and farm in the jungle until you have enough gold to purchase the Gwinsu's Rage Blade and the Blade of the Ruined King. These two items will give you a power spike which you'll clearly notice as you go into a fight. Master Yi also has the potential to jump onto the enemy backline to obliterate squishy damage dealers, thanks to his ultimate, which also makes him a great late game champion. Number 6, Kassadin. A champion that also has its power spike on the exact level as our number 10 champion, Kale, is Kassadin, who also becomes a beast once level 16 is reached. This level will allow Kassadin to have his ultimate literally on in a few seconds, which allows him to roam so fast from base to fight or from his position to anywhere he wants to go. He can use his ultimate as a blink or a flash over walls and can always be in the right place and on time. This makes him a great late game champion. What do you think of our list so far? Agree with us? Make sure to hit that like button to let us know. Comment down below with which champions you think we got right and which ones we got wrong. While you're there, let us know which champion you main. Now, let's get into our top five. Number five, Vladimir. One of the most played champions in season 10 is Vladimir. And there's a reason why people love to play him. And that's because he doesn't need to reach an exact level like other champions. However, he does depend on a few items that are a must buy. If you get some free kills early in the game, it becomes really hard to die because Vladimir has good snowball potential and scales his damage with just a few items. It can be argued that he is probably the best champion when it comes to team fights because of his AoE damage on his ultimate, as it heals himself a lot depending on how many targets he hit with his ultimate. But remember, this champion requires a lot of experience and skill to be played. And if you don't use your combination of abilities in the right way, you won't experience his true power potential. Number four, Samira. The type of champion nobody expected to see in League of Legends is Samira, who should be getting nerfed soon and with reason. Samira came out in Season 10 to everyone's shock with the damage she was able to deal, so Riot Games decided to make a few nerfs on her damage. This didn't really have an effect on her because she can still scale her damage pretty good with Infinity Edge and Death Dance. She will be on the list of late game champions forever in our opinion, no matter how many nerfs she receives. Keep in mind that this champion requires a lot of mechanics and skills to be played. So go ahead and buy this new champion. If you don't try her, you'll never know what it's like to play her. Number 3, Kai'Sa. When we talk about AD carries, we have to mention Kai'Sa. 
She's considered a hyper-carry champion and can adapt to the situation because she's able to commit to either physical or magical damage build, as it depends on the enemy team's itemization and build. She's so good because of the utility she has, and it's so hard to reach her even if you were playing assassin. Kaisa has her ultimate, which allows you to reposition yourself as well as get a barrier, and her E, which gives her stealth plus movement speed and attack speed. It's so broken against anyone who wants to come close to you. Number 2. Vayne Slightly edging out Kaisa for the number 2 spot is Vayne. Vayne is known among ADC mains as a champion that will guarantee you a win if you are in a game for at least 25 minutes or more. With good farming and some kills, she'll have those few needed items to solo carry the game. This champion is good in teamfights because she's so hard to catch because of her mobility spell that she has in her possession, plus if she has her ultimate activated, she's literally unable to be caught as she becomes instantly invisible for 2 seconds after every Q she uses. Before we go on, we want to thank you guys for checking out this video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and click or tap that bell to get notified about our latest videos. Also, hit that like button. This lets us know that you want to see more content just like this. Number 1. Senna If you thought we were going to go through this entire list only to forget about the support role, you were wrong. The longer the game drags, the worse it gets for Senna's opponents. Senna will get a lot of stacks on your passive, and your range will be that long, so you'll be able to hit turrets without them being able to attack you. So imagine being in a fight where no other champion can outrange you. Broken? Huh. And on top of it as a nice cherry on the Sunday, her E, Curse of the Black Mist, allows her to shroud herself and her allies, which provides her some unique utility that's quite invaluable on top of her insane damage and range she provides utility. What else could she possibly have to make her more powerful? Senna is our number one champion that can solo carry late in a game. Agree or disagree with our picks? Let us know in the comments down below. Check out our other videos. Be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell to be notified about our latest videos.